This is the first of many of a round with Rachel and we are at Dunbarney, one of my favourite courses and I'm going to get to play with two Scottish internationalists. I'm playing with Greg Laidlaw and Rudy Jackson and I can't wait to get out there and play some golf. Let's go. I'm joined by Greg Laidlaw and Rudy Jackson. Thank you so much for joining me at the stunning Dunbarney. How are you both? Very well. Yeah. I'm a bit upset because <laughs> just lost, but <laughs> Greg's probably a bit happier. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm delighted because obviously Greg was my partner today and we, we got it done. We, we managed to get the win in the end, but I, I think you know, it was an awesome course, wasn't it? Up here at Dunbarney, we couldn't have got luckier with the weather. It's certainly enjoyable, and uh, you know I, I enjoyed that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Jacko. Yeah, I definitely won't be living that down for a really long time. No. So obviously, quite a few Scottish caps between the both of you. Um, so remind me, how many have you had? I think I was seventy-six in the end. I think I ended. Wow. Uh, okay. A few more in me. I think I was thirty-three. Right. Okay. So quite a few, and then I hear that you were captain for the majority of those, just about, which is what thirty-three times. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to count. <laughs> 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 just too many times. I think it might time. be thirty-nine. I think. Oh wow. Uh, I'm guessing. Oh, okay. Uh, so but, I yeah, it's, uh, listen, it's a real privilege of mine and an awesome part of my, my life and my, and my career. So. Uh, it was awesome, awesome to be just just part of our team, really, not even to be captain. And you know, Jack will tell you how, how good it is to, to play for your country. Yeah, definitely. I have one cap, so I'll I'll definitely take that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, one Scotland cap. Um, but yeah, as you said, playing for your country, you can't beat it. So, tell me, what was it like playing at Murrayfield? Oh, it's one of the best things. Uh, I think just. Just the whole day, I think around the, the atmosphere of this, this, the whole stadium. Even driving to the, the stadium, I think when the fans sort of line the streets and then obviously like you know singing the anthem and, and actually starting the game. It's a lot of the stuff before the game is actually quite you know difficult emotionally to deal with. Mm -hmm. and it's always quite good to start the game, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think Murrayfield puts on one of the best shows um, for a, for a test match. And the whole atmosphere is electric. You get piped in, uh, with the bus coming in, and it's just. The emotions are definitely stirring, but yeah, as soon as the whistle goes, it's just sort of into, your, into the rhythm of things, but it's, yeah, it's a special place to play. Yeah, definitely. So what's your most fondest memory for playing for Scotland? Like, what's the standout for you? I'm sure there's tons, but which one stands out for you? Yeah, there's always a couple. Probably my first cap, but Jack and I were actually received the cap on the first day. Same game. Uh, wow. yeah, against New Zealand, there were, there were a few points uh, by the eight ball, and both Jack and I went went on. You, did you start, Jack? Or you came no, on? okay, well, you came, yeah, came, came, came on. Both of us came on off the bench. Uh, yeah, so that definitely your first cap, so was one that sticks yeah. in your mind. And I think for me, it was probably the 2018 when we were able to win the Calcutta Cup against England. Yeah, yeah, that was that was very fun to watch. <laughs> I think, um, yeah, so Echo, so first cap against New Zealand was awesome, uh, although we did get uh, fairly spanked, it was uh, <laughs> not, not the best result, and then my second cap was actually a couple of games later up against uh, Samoa up in Aberdeen, which is where I'm from, yeah. um, so it's my home, hometown, and being an Aberdeen football fan, we're playing for Todry and uh, kicked the winning kick uh, that game, so uh, it was a pretty, pretty special time in front of all my friends and family, so that's definitely a highlight. That's amazing, so you've obviously mentioned playing against the All Blacks, how intimidating is the haka? Is it as intimidating as it looks on TV? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> you kind of just like, you see it for the first time and you're like... It's really cool, like it's, yeah. it is special, but I, I wouldn't say it's intimidating, it almost pro probably gets you up for it as well, yeah. so it probably has a, no, a negative effect on them, but it's just like it gets, gets you excited, yeah. it's, it's really really cool to see, um, but I wouldn't say, it, yeah, I wouldn't say it's terrifying. Are you sure I'm not 20? <laughs> well, it's one of the things that's almost, it's good to see, sort of stood in front of it and experienced yeah. it rather than being, you know, terrifying. Yeah, no, it's, um, it's obviously very cool to see. Um, and we obviously played golf today. When did you guys start playing golf? Was this something you did obviously in your free time to kind of chill out away from the pitch or like do you start pretty young? 
Yeah, yeah. yeah I started pretty young. Um, okay. I grew up down in Jen and Waters, pretty quiet town. So you had the, the rugby club and you know, the golf course, essentially. You know, not a huge amount in between. So yeah, I spent a lot of time playing golf uh, when I was young, probably as much time as I was playing rugby. Um, I definitely, I, I used it in, in my sort of later years when I was professional to, to really try and switch off from the game. Get out. I, I love playing golf um, and, and just get away from it and try and you know disconnect a little bit from from playing rugby. Yeah, same. I uh, played a lot as a kid. Uh, I came from Aberdeen, so there's a lot of good, good golf courses up there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so played a lot, and then now it's just I'm a fair weather golfer. Um, <laughs> so we got the only reason I pitched up today is the, the forecast was good. But, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, just try and pick up like golf days here and there, and then get out now and again. But it's, um, yeah, lock out of the course. But it's just yeah, getting the time to get full eighteen is tough. Yeah, definitely. And the Lions tour is on at the moment, and I've been asked to ask you who is playing number nine. Yeah, listen. I think um, I was asked this question yesterday. And, uh, you know, I, I truly believe Ali Price is, is playing uh, the best at the moment out of the three names mm -hmm. on the tour. Does that mean they're going to select them? Um, maybe not. I think that they may go Conor Murray in, in the first yeah, test because he's right. got experience. And but I think Ali's had a strong start to the tour. He, he's you know he's been created a lot of tempo. He's kicked well and he's looked pretty solid. So he's certainly put himself in the frame so I mean if I was selecting I would select him because he's as I say he's the form nine in my opinion on the field. Yeah. yeah and you see him? Yeah. I'm going to pick oh, the score. Well, yeah, well, well, I'm really, Bias. Greg, Greg certainly knows, knows, this, knows this score when it comes to scrum half play being there done that and so I think he's, he's right but Warren will know and trust Conor Murray, what Conor Murray can bring in that first test is going to be, I think it's just going to be a complete war. I think um, South Africa is just going to come try to bully the Lions and I think having somebody like Conor who can control things will put him in a good place but I'd love to see Pricey start and I think he's been outstanding recently. No he has. I think yeah, Conor Murray will probably have a little bit of money in the bank with, with Warren Garland from 2017 to him. I'm missing Conor Murray's an excellent heavy player and he, you know, he has been for a number of years and so the majors lean towards that experience. And, and probably bring Ali, or, or maybe bring Ali off the bench if that's the way they go start and come. Yeah, it would be amazing to see Ali come off the bench for sure if he's not already picked for the team. Okay, so a little bit of quick fire. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> only I've only got like four questions, so don't worry about it. Um, handicap? Nine. Handicap? <laughs> handicap? <laughs> Give us Dodgy? <laughs> questionable 15. Questionable, very questionable 15. 15. <laughs> <laughs> Favourite course? 28. Dumbarney. <laughs> Favourite course? Yeah, Dumbarney. <laughs> <laughs> Favourite golf club in your bag? Golf yeah. club? Yeah, club. Uh, probably my, my three iron, it's a bit of a driver iron. Yeah, I definitely, <laughs> definitely saw so. that today. Um, I actually love my, my yeah. six iron, but I didn't get to use it very much. <laughs> <laughs> it a bit and the last question, beating England at Twickenham or at Murrayfield? Murrayfield. Yeah, you'd want to do it on the field of things best, but you'd yeah, yeah. be happy doing it in the back garden. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I've done. Um, but yeah, yeah. just beating them in general. <laughs> just <probably>. beating them. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't happen often, so it's good when it yeah. happens. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you so much for your time today, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure, and as you know, I'm a big fan girl, so <laughs> I tried to play as cool as I possibly could until now. But yeah, thank you so much, and thanks, partner, for the win. But it's been great Fuck playing you. with you both, and uh, hopefully we'll get a game again in the future. Yeah, definitely. That was awesome. Thanks for having us. Sounds good. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.
my golf was a little bit inconsistent, but I had such a good run there. Um, I'm really happy with how I played, even though it was inconsistent. I feel as if there's so many positives to take from it. Of course, my partner, Greg Laidlaw, that was amazing and we got the win. So yeah, just a surreal day. The guys were amazing and so nice and it was a tight match from start to finish, which is always enjoyable. But yeah, thank you so much to Rudy Jackson and Greg Laidlaw for the match today. And thank you so much to St Andrews Brewing Co for making it happen. And of course, the stunning Dunbarney. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button for me and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more. Thanks for watching.